Right there. Guys, it's me, Kratos again with a Pokemon Online Battle of the Breakdown server of the tournament. Dream World is real. So this time, Emergency is battling against a guy, busy, no name. So yeah, let's see how the battle goes. I already see the, I already saw the battle, watched the battle, but I just, I just don't remember almost anything at all. So I'm just gonna do like I'm narrating something. So yeah, Emergency starts with the Heatran. He's he's going to set up this twelve rocks. Well. This guy goes for the superpower and now Emergency goes for the Fire Blast and someone PMs invalid. So <laughs> yeah, he goes for the Fire Blast that doesn't even take the 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 axis of out to the focus edge. I don't know what why that was pretty weak, I don't really understand what he meant. But anyways, he goes for the earth power just to finish up the the axis as the guy uses spikes. I don't know why he didn't use Tell Rock first and then uh, layer of spikes and now he's going to send the Terrakion that is pretty much a threat to any team except a stall team with a Mongoose and Skarmory but he is he's just going to sacrifice the Heatran because you need to sacrifice something to bring the correct thing to kill Terrakion so yeah he's going to bring out the the Gengar he knows the Terrakion Scarf I, well, he was predicting somehow that the Dragon was Scarf. Now he goes for the Focus Blast, and yeah. Well, if that was disabled Gengar, that's cool. But I'm surprised the Ice Beam break broke this up because Ice Beam's not stabbed. Maybe he's running a special attacker set with Dark Pulse and Filter Ice Beam. So maybe Fire Blast. So. That's cool for him, but oh, what the hell? BRB. So now I don't really see. Oh, he's going to run a calculate damage calculator. So yeah, that's cool. That's convenient. But as I was saying, maybe he's running a full out attacker set because oh. Um, Wait, he has Stell Rocks. I know he has Stell Rocks because I've seen it before. But he's running maybe Dark Pulse, Fire Blast, and Ice Beam. Well, I wanna think that the way. Because if he goes for the Ice Beam, he's going to break that Disable. It's actually a pretty good move. Then he's going to set up Stell Rocks and Immanence he's going to disable Stell Rocks, which are useless. So it wasn't, it wasn't a bad move at all. In my opinion, uh, if I'm wrong, correct me. But yeah, come on, dude. I don't have the all the time of the world, so hurry up, please. Okay. God damn. It's kind of sad that like seven people were out in of the tournament because pe the. Op couldn't find the opponent or something like that because I couldn't find my opponent and my opponent got disqualified and yeah I got to round two but it's pretty sad for him or I guess he didn't care at all so yeah let's wait to this dude to come back because he's taking a lot of time calculating that so Mimbal is about to type something okay he's back now he's going for the solid rock so the Deoxys didn't have Star Rocks. What was the Deoxys said there? Maybe he was uh, dual screeners, spikes, something like that. But yeah, he goes for the Focus Blast, and that's gonna take out the Tyranitar. So that's pretty good for him, I guess. And now he's, I believe he's going to send. Yeah, and this was the first hacks of the battle because. You'll see. He gets a crit with Shadow Ball, I think. Yeah, he gets a crit of Shadow Ball. That definitely matter because Kingdra is kind of, is kind of bulky as well. That uh, that move wasn't super effective. And then the Imanis is getting cocky and saying sorry. I hate when people say that because they're totally being sarcastic. Because I know they wish with all their heart that they can to get a critical hit. So when they say they say they're sorry, 
they are being totally sarcastic. And he gets another hack. He gets a shallow ball crit and a special defense drop. That's fucking bullshit right there for him. So now he's going to finish up with the focus blast. I don't know why he didn't go for shallow ball. Any, not any poke. I mean, none of the Pokemon remaining resist that shallow ball. So what? Go see that he's being fucking cocky. I I hate that guy because he's fucking cocky. So yeah. I hate cocky people even though I I may call that so, sometimes because I like to p play as an asshole sometimes but I'm not really that way so yeah now I believe he's gonna go for the stone edge and break this up for future reference when you trying to let something die. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he goes for the Exis or uh, I would have gone for the Stone Edge. If I don't know, but if Terrakion had Mold Breaker, it would be kind of a little more useful because if he had earthquake he could it could be super effective and break the sub so yeah it's cool like that now he goes to Breloom and Breloom is gonna mag punch that shit and it's obviously a KO I run 5 gem on my Breloom <laughs> I don't know why it's it kind of works because when you really need to kill something like Landers or Espion it KOs after a sword dance so it's, it comes in pretty handy. And now Imanence is going to finish up this with a bullet punch because he hacked this guy to death. And he played cocky. So, so see, see, watch this. Yeah, he's, I'm sorry, no name. You're sorry, my balls. So, yeah, see you later, guys, in the next Dream World tournament narration. Bye.